What's going on guys? Time for one of my favorite videos of the year. We open up a bunch of Tim Hortons hockey card packs and actually build a team in NHL 25 using the players we pull. This year it's actually the 10th edition of these Tim Hortons hockey cards. Hopefully uh, you guys can see that there. So I'm just going to start opening in front of the camera. I know, you know, usually don't get anything crazy. I think once I've gotten like a card that was worth 20, 25 bucks, but I've never gotten like one of those special cards where it says you're a winner anything like that. So our first pull is literally a team that doesn't even exist anymore. So we got Clayton Keller there. I can see it does say like the 10th anniversary. Um, after that, ooh, is that Anze Kopitar with like the chrome bucket? Pretty cool. And then final card there, Wyatt Johnston. Okay, obviously I'm a fan of that. Next pack here, guys. I feel like Anze Kopitar is probably not worth a ton. Ooh, is that a Red Wing? I think I do see a Red Wing. Okay, so on the back, we got more Cider there. Uh, who's going to be the card on the front? Ooh, we have a, a San Jose Shark, Will Eklund. I was hoping maybe Celebrini. Behind him, we got Matty Beniers. I actually talked to him very briefly at the HL25 event. Totally forgot to ask him for a picture. And then, like I said, Cider there after him. And I should mention to you guys, the Matty Beniers there is an in-motion phenom. And I don't think him or the Kopitar are like a crazy uh, pull or anything like that. But they are like, you know, the rare card in the pack. Every pack has three cards. And every pack, I think, has one rare. So next up here, guys, let's see. First card. Who is that? Jordan Cairo. All right. After that, ooh, that looks kind of nasty. Frozen Hot Shots, Nikita Kucherov. I mean, it might not be worth a lot, but I do really like the card art there. And then finally, we have Brennan Gallagher. All right, guys, we're halfway through now with this fourth pack. No goalies yet. I got eight packs, so that should give us 24 players. We need at least two goalies. Um, no goalie there on the back. You guys will see who that is in just a sec. Um, is that another Matty Veneers? <laughs> it is. Okay, so we got double Matty Veneers. That's why I get extra. Another Frozen Hot Shot. And it's a Kyle Connor. Again, I love that card art. So sick. And then last play there is actually John Tavares. So, so far, guys, we've only got one defenseman. Everyone else is a forward. I think if we don't get two goalies, we got to throw, like, the worst goalie we can find in-game into the net. I feel like that's only fair. So, this next pack here. Oh, is that Tim Horton? It is Tim Horton. Okay, hopefully he's still in the game. Um, what do we have? Ooh, is that Dylan... Are you kidding me? That's nasty. Above the ice, Dylan Larkin. How perfect is that? Hopefully, uh, get that for you guys. But yeah, I mean, I'm loving these pulls so far. I got my favorite Red Wing in Dylan Larkin. Wyatt Johnson, I loved as a Spitfire. We also get a defenseman here in Drew Doughty. So that was a sick pack. All right, guys, next pack here, number six. Have yet to get like anything insane, but ooh, as I say that, not an insane pull, but it's an insane pull, I guess, you know, for this video. Uh, right here, guys, at the start, we finally got our goalie, and Andre Vasilevsky is definitely a good one to get. Uh, what is that? Brad Marchand, True North Future, Canadian uh, background there. And then another double in Mort Sider. All right, guys, we've only got two packs to go here. This is the seventh pack. That's my lucky number. So, I don't know, maybe we'll finally get, you know, that Tim Hortons, your winner pull or whatever. So not a good start, you guys will see. Um, is that another, are you kidding me? Jordan Kairou, who's in the middle there. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. It is a Travis Kunechny, uh pure gold card. And then we have another Brennan Gallagher. So four doubles. And here we go, guys, last pack. Still only have one goalie, but honestly, with Vassi, we'll be fine. I jinxed it too. Look at that, Matty Beniers, a triple Matty Beniers. Are you kidding me? Maybe I should have got a picture or something. Um, another Frozen Hot Shots. It's Jason Robertson. Again, I like that. I don't think they go for a lot, but it is cool. And then we get another Fenceman, actually, and Jacob Chikrin. So, gonna be an interesting team for sure, but should be fun to see how they do in-game. All right, guys, so I just finished creating the team. Also, too, I was looking up the card prices. Apparently, this Matty Beniers in Motion Phenoms is the best card. I think all the rest were, like, $2 or less. This card's actually worth 4 bucks. So, I mean, uh, we got a great pull there. Definitely did not make our money back. But as you guys can see here, we got the Hamilton Tim Hortons. I mentioned before, but apparently the first ever Tim Hortons was in Hamilton. Their 89 overall there got them in the Atlantic Division because that's actually where they would be. Makes them the highest rated team, not only in the division, but I think they're tied with the Rangers for the highest rated team in the NHL, which honestly, I'm a little bit surprised by. We only have four defensemen, we've only got one goalie, so it's going to be interesting for sure. All right, guys, so I just finished ending the lines. Apparently, our coach thinks we're good enough to compete for the Stanley Cup, so I'd be really surprised, honestly, that this team can do that. Obviously, we have a ton of, like, offensive firepower, but like I said, we got a couple forwards on D. Our backup goalie's terrible, and obviously, to make it actually matter that we only, you know, pulled one goalie, I still have auto-rotate goalie turned on, because otherwise... Like I said, it wouldn't really matter. So I feel like that'll be fun to kind of see how this backup does. I'll show you guys just how bad he is. And speaking of that, guys, I'll show you what the team is looking like next. First line here, you got Kyle Connor, Dylan Lark, and Nikita Kucherov. That's nasty. They get a plus 
those five. Larkin, Connor, of course, a couple of Michigan boys. Second line, you got Robertson playing with Kopitar, Keller, also getting a plus five. The third line here is Kairu, Tavares, and Marchand. And then fourth there is Konechny, Eklund, and Gallagher. They get a plus two. Again, tons of forward depth. Defensively, we got Horton Sider on the top pair. Obviously, gonna have two more on that top pair there. And then on the second pair, we got Jacob Chicken with Drew Doughty. And the bottom pair is actually Johnston and Beneers. Both these guys, pretty good two-way forwards. I feel like they honestly might get more ice time here than they would, say, playing fourth line forward. Goaltending. So 89 Vasilevskis are started. And then we got a 43 Shin Masamura as his backup. I was looking through like all the different teams, and I think I found the lowest rated goalie in the game. He's, of course, on the Japanese international team. So curious to see how he'll do. 43 overall. He'll probably only get like seven starts, but... Uh, hopefully, I can at least win a couple games with him. Power play one, you guys can see all forwards. They get a plus five. Power play two there, also all forwards. Looking pretty nasty. Uh, the four man there, I think both units actually get positive chemistry. Seconds get a plus five. PK wise, I think we look good with like Marchand, Kopitar, Johnson there with Larkin. On the third game, we actually have Gallagher and Eklund on the back end. So, like I said, tried to mix it up. I think every single player uh, does get some special team time. So, excited to see how they do. Again, the coach thinks we can compete for the Stanley Cup. I'm not so sure. In terms of the captaincy here, guys, I got Tavares and Marchand there, both wearing A's. As they're both Canadian, Marchand's current captain of the Bruins. Tavares, of course, was just the captain of the Leafs. And then I got Horton there wearing the C, because again, literally, you know, videos named after him. These packs are bought from his store. So we'll see how we do here, guys. Before we start the sim, I will show you our ratings as well, so you can actually see the jersey. So just one with like the red maple leaf there. You can see the ways, like the beige, the brown, and red. The home there is the brown, red, and beige. Not a huge fan of the home, honestly. Then the alternate, we got like the fork and the spoon. Figured I'd mix it up. So in terms of the ratings, we got 99 offense, which is actually kind of nuts, 92 defense, and then 67 goal tennis. It's clearly it just like the two ratings uh, combined, divided by two. And if you look here, you'll see we have a bunch of players with zone abilities. So I think even though we're missing a couple defensemen, our backup goalie is terrible, we should be all right. And before we get started with the simulation, guys, let me know in the comment section how good you think this team is going to do. Miss the playoffs, round one, round two, win the cup, etc. Also, if you haven't yet, leave a thumbs up. It really helps me out. All right, guys. So just in the end of the season, as you can see there, we actually hit 50 wins right on. Record of 50, 27, and 5, which was, which was good enough to earn ourselves a playoff spot. We actually tied the Lightning there. Both have 105 points, and we played them in the first round. So that should be pretty fun. As the best player on each team is the same guy, Nikita Kucherov. We also each have the same starting goalie in Vasilevsky. So I'm curious to see how everyone did on this team. Clayton Keller actually led the way, 79 points. Playing second line, Kucherov 78. That's pretty interesting, honestly. Of course, with the extra ice time, Connor 70, Robertson 68, Larkin only 63. He was like playing everything. First line, center, first power play, PK. Kopitar was close to 60, Kairu there, Tavares, Marchand. I mean, that many guys putting out 50 plus points. I think it was nine there total. Is pretty impressive. Usually what happens with these stacked teams is you have kind of have this where a bunch of guys are like 50 60s, but no one's popping off because they're kind of just, you know, taking the puck from each other, I guess you'd say. Goaltending, okay, Masamura had 11 games played, 3, 5, and 2. I mean, almost a 900, 889. That's not terrible for a 43. Like, that's below a CHL goalie, a CHL backup goalie even. This guy is like almost, you know, as low rated as I'd be if I was in the game. So, not bad numbers. Vasilevsky kind of popped off. 47 wins with a 9-2. Might win the Vesna because he had such a bad backup. Like, he played 72 games for us. I think, honestly, yeah, he's going to take it home. Now, in terms of the entire league here, guys, you had McDavid leading the way with 136, followed by McKinnon, Saddle. Honestly, no one here too big of a surprise. McDavid actually, oh my gosh, him and Pasternak both had 70 goals. I was so pissed about Pasternak. McDavid comes in, beats me by one for the Misha Shard. McCarr there, 97 with a plus 35. He'll be winning the Norris, as he usually does. And then goalies here, Skinner had 51 wins. Wow, Vasilevsky got beat by four. Four more starts, but save percentage-wise, he's a lot higher there with a 9-2. Shesterkin, though, at a 9-3. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Vasilevsky's 9-2 is actually way down here. It's kind of interesting to see. There's actually, like, a lot of really good goalie numbers this year. And then goals against, it's going to be Shesterkin as well. Vasi, our Vasi, 2-4-6. Tamas Vasi, 2-5-2. Going to be close. Rookie skaters here. Celebrini, 87 points. In terms of the entire league here, guys, he always won the President's Trophy, 125. We finished sixth place in the NHL, though, which I don't think is too bad. And then last place with Columbus Blue Jackets. I feel like in real life, I definitely could see that happening. But we'll get started here, guys, with our first round against the Lightning. Again, I think it's kind of funny like that we're going to have Kucherov versus Kucherov, Vasilevsky versus Vasilevsky. So hopefully ours do better. Usually, I don't know, with the custom team, it's not the case. And we're up 1-0, 4-3 win, 3-1 win. Okay, there we go. I feel like the playoff sim may be a tiny bit faster um, with like the latest update. Game 3, 4-3 four, three, OT loss. Or at least it was a close one. Game 4, there we... Wow, another loss. Okay, so after a 2-0 lead, we completely blow it. Series is tied. We do have the home advantage. I mean, lose again. Is Tampa Bay going to knock us out in round 1? 
Come on. In uh, Tampa Bay here. 3-1 win. All right. Game 7. Do or die. 4-1 win. Let's go. Ronda round 2 here. Playing the Boston Bruins. Boston actually has the home ice advantage. So, first two games at the TD Garden. 2-1 loss. And a 7-1 loss. All right. Boston's figured us out, I guess. Headed home now to Hamilton. Game 3 is a 5-4 loss. Game 4. Okay. We don't get shut out. But, obviously, not looking too good here. Game 6. Or, sorry. Game 5. It's a 4-3 OT loss. All right. So, this team only makes it to round 2. Kind of crazy, like, I mean, again, we had, you know, certain things wrong with this team, but they were stacked in terms of the forward group. And look at this, guys. Playoffs are now complete. We actually lost the eventual Stanley Cup champion there in the Boston Bruins. So, I mean, I feel like Boston's got a pretty good team. I expect them to make the playoffs this year. Uh, Calgary jumps from 7-1. to one. Islanders are at 2. I feel like Islanders fans would be pretty disappointed if they got second last in the NHL this year. But next year, guys, we'll take a look at the playoff tree, the awards. All that good stuff. So Boston Bruins here. Beat the Leafs in seven in round one classic. They beat us in five. Rangers in five. Then the Nashville Predators in five. Okay, Nashville Stanley Cup final. That'd be pretty nuts, of course, after adding Stamkos, March so Brady Shea. Now, this isn't good. Travis Konecki was on our fourth line and led the team in playoff scoring. Yeah, so the top guys did not show up. Kyrie even was a third liner. He was tied with eight points. Tavares was the third liner. Keller was second. Our top line, Connor, um, Kucherov, Larkin, nowhere to be seen. Come on, that's insane. So yeah, like the top six there did not get it done. Larkin, four points of minus five. Vasilevsky tried his best. 9-1-6, was trying to beat his old team. Unfortunately, did not happen. Now, in terms of the awards here, guys, individually got McDavid with the Art Ross and the Hart. McCarr, James Norris, Dreisaitl, Lady Bing, Celebrini, Calder, Pasternak, Conn Smythe. Didn't get the Marisha Sharp, but he got that. Shesterkin did get the Vesna. Okay, I thought Vasilevsky might get it. Also got William Jennings, Martinez, Bill Masterton, Kane's coach, Jack Adams. Kopitar, Selkie, unfortunately not ours. McDavid, Ted Lindsay, along with the Rangers Shard. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, every year I really like, you know, opening up the packs and then making a team out of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.